Hey everybody, what's up? Got a really quick little tech tutorial here for Google AdWords. Now, one thing that agencies kind of come across is that they have their own people clicking on their own links. Uh, it's gonna add up, it's gonna start counting as clicks, it's gonna mess up your conversion rates, stuff like that. So one thing that we can do is block IPs. So Google won't count certain IP addresses. This is also good if you have somebody that you think might be clicking on your ads just to get you to blow your ad spend so that they can compete with you. Now, Google is going to reimburse you on those, but it can destroy your budget for the day. So you could end up losing out on ads and that's not, you know, there's a reason you're running them. You don't care about the money. You want the ads to be running, right? So this is one thing that you can do if you catch somebody doing that. I use a tool, by the way, called Click Magic to track my IPs. And if I see that the same IP is clicking the same link over and over and over again, I'll go in and I can block it. But this is what you do. You come under the campaign that you want to edit. Let's do this one. Then you come down here to settings. Go to additional settings. IP exclusions. And then you want to find out what your IP address is. You can just type that in up here and it's going to in Google and it's going to give it to you. And I can just paste that right there, save. Now, I know a lot of people want to see their ads and that's fine, you can do that. What you need to do is just come to tools, go to ad preview and diagnosis. Then you can type in your ad and you'll be able to see it, right? Whatever it is you're looking for, it'll come up and it'll show you if it is showing, if it's not showing, my budget's over for the day, so this one's not showing. Uh, but that is all that you have to do. And this is a good way to make sure that you don't have any sneaky competitors trying to get you to blow your ad budget. Like I said, you will be reimbursed, but it's a pain. And this is a great way to make sure that doesn't happen. You can also block by zip code or region. Typically for me, it's just IP, but feel free to go ahead. And uh, if you have a competitor that you know lives in a certain city, you don't want them to see your ads, you can block that ad uh, for that city. You know, you can get creative with it. That's how you do it, guys. Take it easy.